Hi Scorpio and welcome to your weekly Terrascopes uh, a day before the due date or day and a half before. Um, you are just really uh, interesting to observe because I usually reveal the tarot readings in order of how many viewers I have on a certain sign and how much interaction I see so hence basically the sign that interacts the most I give them uh, the preference. So last week it was just a clear basically lead, uh, I think Libra, Virgo and um, Aries, that one in the end. And I think I mentioned in one of the dailies uh, that kind of fact and all of a sudden I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Look at those Scorpios. You guys are forced to reckon with. You just like came straight to the second spot. If I probably told that before, uh, pff, you would be like first, like nobody else inside. So, Scorpio, you rock. Like, I mean, that intense nature was really something that you're famous for. I really observed it in practice. Good for you. Passionate to the real, real core. Um, so anyway, now you know. So now you have enough time to know that for the future you need to subscribe, you need to like, and you need to share the videos. So that way you're helping me and I'm helping you. And what are you getting uh, this time around as a result? You're getting this uh, elaborate reading where uh, it's like not five cards as it is a standard reading for a week, but it is a full Celtic cross. But also because you were second, oops, pardon me, you're going to get um, also some additional goodies that I usually do in private readings. And also, yes, Scorpio, uh, private readings are open right now. I only offer at a stage 20 and 40 um, basically minute sessions because the rest of them are open only to study clients. And I still cannot squeeze in more hours to do this. And thank you all for asking for the bigger uh, kind of longer things but like that's all I can do right now so please check my website www.cattarot.ca all right Scorpio so let's go to the core of your reading and let's see what this is uh, I pre-shuffled and positioned the card so we don't have to waste things on that and it's kind of really really interesting because last week I think I left you with a message if I remember well you know uh, put yourself first and it looks like you really really took it to heart because this is really interesting reading I mean why okay let's go let's go with you know let's go with the base cards you have two of earth this is going to be seen in this daylight here I'm getting the southwest sun over here and then you have six of fire let me see if I can position the camera differently so you can see better, just a sec. Okay, I hope this kind of improved. So, what I was saying here is that you have six of fire and two of earth in your base. So, neither of them is a water sign, so that means again you're like dealing with some uh, different energies. One is a fire, feeling like a winner. And also two of earth is sort of like realizing that you still have to take care of some issues and you know you're ju juggling uh, several things at once and maybe just trying to come to terms with certain things so um, this one kind of like warns you that you know enjoy while you can because victory has to be defended as well and it's still good to know that you kind of like came uh, came on top but right after that is coming oh what's now like now I have to attend to responsibilities and well was this winning worth it right okay you know, sometimes we get things and they say, beware what you wish for. So I think this is really the theme of your reading. And you know what I really like about your sign that I really can be fully honest with you. I don't have to pussyfoot. Uh, I don't have to kind of wrap it with extra, extra, extra five wrappers. And I can really tell you. And you're really willing to go and dig deep. And I absolutely love Scorpio because of it. Uh, I don't have Scorpio in me, but I think being Aquarius, Scorpio and Aquarius really do get along and this is not what you're going to hear from many astrologers because I don't think they go really deeply in the study because Scorpios are looking for people who have layers and really uh, the only other sign that has as many layers to keep Scorpio interesting is Aquarius. That's why you see famous couples like right, uh, Scorpio and uh, 
Aquarius, I think it would be Ashton Kutcher and Demi Moore, right? Because there were so many layers over there, and they're kind of like really. Uh, when we develop relationship, we do have really, really long and deep, deep one. And this also goes for people who have Venus in Scorpio. So that could be Sagittarius, and that could be uh, what is before Scorpio, uh, Libra, because sometimes you get neighboring or two signs down uh, as your Venus sign. So that way, that intensity can come across as well. So that intensity of Scorpio is like, oh my God. Oh my God, it's coming out in full force. Put yourself first, you know, uh, maybe maybe walk up demons in you. And this does happen if you have been going through some kind of trauma and you guys did go through some trauma. And you know, while you're going through it, the bodies, our bodies are making us function and we are going through it and we are following the motions. And it's only when we manage to stop and relax is like that, that we become furious. It is when we realize, oh my gosh, this is what happened. And now I really feel it. And like you are furious. This is basically your base card. This is your starting point. It is the major, basically, you know, force that is going to uh, f push you this week. And it's major arcana to make it. So it's not escapable. And it's crossed with high priestess urging you to be basically intuitive, urging you to, to use what you have, not to be ruled with instincts, not to be ruled with immediate, kind of, please, you know, can you, can you kind of like, kind of look deep inside of yourself, this is who you are at best, this is who you are at worst. So, in any case, it is kind of like transformative week, and, and it's good, you know, um, we sometimes need to be bad because you cannot hold inside of yourself uh, the despair or the bitterness. Like sometimes you have to push it out. It's just really important how how you do it. So you know, cats are usually not really really bad cats. So you know when you see a vicious cat out there that you know that kitty had bad life or something really happened to that kitty, right? And for some of you, I think you separated, and this tells me that right now you're feeling, because you're here suspicious, you're here walking away, it, it looks to me that, you know, you're still dealing with that separation, and, and right now you're angry. And you know what they're saying in psychology, anger is like one of the final stages, so even though it doesn't feel right, like you're almost done with the work that you have been going through the last two, three months, so it is almost over. And right now you are entering that little kind of like inner world of you where you kind of like are really comfortable with, comfortable with digging deep, knowing what's basically uh, unknown to the other signs, knowing to what is really happening, that kind of spiritual feeling. But you have to overcome your urges and you have to overcome also ability to kind of just go back with someone in a codependent relationship. Uh, some of you might be very tempted to, to go back and even though this is reading only for this week, I mean, I can see here trying to go back, I can see in here, I can see here fantasizing. Uh, I also know that Mercury retrograde is coming up and this is when this all can explode and the reason why I know this kind of reading is a little bit longer than week is like you have uh, one, two, three, four, five major arcanas. Half of the reading is major arcana. So this is going to last. It's not easy to deal with biggies like I mean in a short period of time it kind of would kind of crush us. So you know I would just say, uh, if you have a safe space, go and cry and scream and push your pillows, etc. You know, and uh, sim simply also at the same time, you know, try to avoid situation where where can you be taken away from your proper path. Uh, it is very hard when you're angry to control what you say. We all have been there, and then later we regret what we have. One exercise that I do here is like I write a letter to the person who wronged me and, and I kind of never send it but what I do is like I get everything out of me and then I write a second letter uh, basically pretending to be that person, pretending that they are writing that letter to me and sort of like trying to get this observation from, from their standpoint and trying to develop the compassion 
or at very least understanding. Of course, if you still want to murder them in the end of that, you have to start that letter all over again. So this is pretty much that flavor of the week. You literally, we are out there for the kill. You see this little birdie in the bottom? Yeah, the little birdie didn't make it. So really, 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 I'm going to ask this week uh, who is Scorpio and stay away from them. Really this week, you guys are pff, just to be avoided. No offense. So let's see why this all happened. Why this all happened. So here we are having, you know, uh, the purpose basically for this week it is you know you are kind of fed up you you had enough look at this fighting and infighting and a whole bunch of things going on and again this is like back to all these readings that i had uh for you in the past and i had like what this this channel is only three weeks old but i mean i did it for the other scorpios in the past and i know this is dating back to at least october and kind of like it was a culmination of issues but here this kitty and this is sky and this means that in the past I saw you really being codependent and I see you uh, to a point here but now you're getting angry and here this is what I was advising guys walk away from the situation just try to kind of like see it but I absolutely love the face of this kitty over here look at how fed up is he oh my gosh like I mean here she just had enough just leave me alone. So in a traditional deck, you see this figure going across the like river uh, with a boatman and carrying her with a hope for a better future. No, cats are way more proactive in this deck with this reading. You are the one basically trying to take charge. And this is the base. You're trying to take charge, but you have to go through these levels of grief like all of us so welcome to to the human race so you know this is a sky energy which is really really fast and it's really really harsh and you know like i mean here we are looking at you know uh learning lessons you know so what is the learning lesson about it like i mean the moon so aren't their cats really perfect match for the moon like i mean this is where uh, they really really dwell you know like they they can see things that the rest of us cannot see you know but what it means for us humans it means that things can appear that they are really not there that it can you know look creepy that can look you know uh, dangerous you know but in your case giving the rest of the spread I think your anger is that whatever situation you're still experiencing that you're looking for things to be revealed and they are not getting revealed. Uh, whomever you're dealing with, and no other person came out here, so you know your ex is either out of the picture or you push him out, you're going to see how the cards evolve. But you know, this is basically saying that you have to trust your intuition. So it is repeating the message of the high priestess, but this is kind of like going inward and dealing with you and this is kind of like on on a level of secrecy of mystery you you are the sign that you you want to take the truth you actually doesn't matter how bad it is you just want to have it just please give it to me i can deal with that i can do something about it you feel that somebody is hiding from you and that's why you still cannot find this comfort zone you still cannot go to your little cave the amethyst cave because of it so you want to walk away but you still can't and look at in the past you tried to run away from the situation you know and you know it didn't work it just simply didn't work there were like lots of messages exchange of the messages and you know trying to be together but like all the things are like still up in the air because the aids are basically just a whole bunch of very very highly high and fast coming energy as well so you had this really fast energy here and a lots of things to handle and then again the base is fire you did feel like a winner in the situation but I think you do know that you're not the winner and this is why you're angry and this is why you're still waiting for the closure and I think that's the key you are not getting the closure and you want so badly to get it so guess what you would get closure no matter what because time heals all wounds and we know that and this is like six of earth uh, a kitty is allowing other kitties to share the meal and you know so it is 
both things that you need to do. You have to be able to accept and you have to be able to give. So this is give and take card. And when it comes to life, it means that you need to strike a balance. It is a financial thing. And this also can mean uh, settling financial matters with someone where you're kind of dividing the property and getting somebody to, to be uh, a judge to it and sort of like you're getting what you need to get and it, it's kind of like resolving it in a peaceful manner. So basically what's going to happen out of the situation that some kind of peace is going to be established where, you know, somebody here will be able to calm down and you will be able to come to the same table and kind of like approach a decision making process and kind of like, and this is definitely somebody from your past. It is the karmic issue coming to the surface. So, but at this stage, you're very grounded. It's like more or less monetary, etc. But now let's really see how uh, how are your feelings. And your feelings are seven of C. So there are a whole bunch of little bubbles here that Kid is observing and really wondering if that's what is in it. Like what is in this bubble? And when when I touch it, it just like vanishes. What is going on? I I really want to know. Uh, you know how what is reality what is not reality so it is like this moon card it's like you're dealing with wondering what really is going on you have a feeling that somebody again i cannot stop thinking that you feel that you have been lied to that maybe even cheated on and then or you're really suspecting that and then like somebody's not telling you and your intuition your scorpio intuition 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 I come in is telling you like no I am not clear on this situation I really need to know and yet each time that you try to dig in and find out the bubble explodes and this is like making you even more cautious and fearful and you know you're going in all directions and this is making you really tired on the outside of you you know you are dreaming about this perfect guy Maybe you still hope, you know, that the person you have been dealing with will come back, that he's going to be the perfect thing. And trust me, we all live this fantasy when we are going through breakup. Oh no, he's going to realize what he's losing. Oh yes, he's going to realize how great I am and how great time he had with me. He's going to come showering me with flowers and he he's going to really realize and tell me he loves me. And we will live happily ever after. Well, you know what? I really wish this happens to you but most of the time this is a fantasy and here being surrounded with kind of charity card an illusion card and refusing to let something die card it tells me this is your fantasy world I'm sorry to say that and also if I come across this line you know it looks like that you really try you did put an effort it did make you angry you're going through some kind of like leveling leveling with whatever it is happening in your life and then right you're still losing yourself in some fantasies we're going to clarify later and just to see you know uh, what exactly our runes are having to say about it so coming to this position we are coming to this kind of spiritual ideals and what we need to do and what we should kind of work to overcome and I love this death card this is your card Scorpio it's really your card at the best over here being able to reinvent yourself being able to resurrect yourself you know especially with this particular deck you get to have nine lives and you know and you can see like I mean even though one one kind of situation ends another one is reborn and so much better with so much more vitality in your situation uh, this is in the reverse position and this means that that you're grieving and that you are not willing to accept the loss you are maintaining sad memories right so we have seen it here those sad memories are obviously like such a beautiful time and the sad memories are living that fantasy of of the of the knight on the white horse coming coming and just telling telling you all these beautiful things what i would do is you know a saturn letter 
I would honor the memories of good things that happen. Uh, those memories hurt you, and they only hurt you. Just by reliving them, you're hurting yourself really deeply and creating digger and digger hole inside of yourself. Um, I would kind of like perform a mini ceremony to honor what has passed and kind of embrace a sense of closure because this is what is asking you to do and you might never find the truth which you feel that you need for your closure and he's never going to be what you uh, want him to be because people are just really far from being perfect and the more we know them the more we learn that and maybe you can find an object that belonged to him or her and bury it ritualistically and sort of like recite thank you for being in my life again this letter uh, you need to acknowledge good things that happen from this person because nobody's good or bad and don't dwell on these good things because you know uh, if you ever watch Seinfeld, when Elaine is trying to get back with the old boyfriend, they just kind of quickly realize that their main attitudes, their core beliefs did not change. So there is a reason why you are away from this person. And whether it was you who called the shots or him or her who called the shots, in some case it was imbalance. And like imbalance is now being restored. So if, if you're a parent, that means that, you know, you're going to get through divorce and it's going to be a really fair divorce and you know you will manage to maintain some kind of like civility but at the same time for you Scorpio if you don't get your truth you're never going to respect this person again so please don't crave him don't love him anymore like I mean you have a life in front of you and you cannot move on in this life until you caught in this cycle you know, here, you really want to walk away. Just grin your teeth, do this ritual, and walk away. Because the reading is finishing from Demon Cat, which is basically hissing and murdering everything in sight. You're getting to Floating Cat. This is a lovely card because it is going to force you, just like here, even though that was like really dealing with the deep, deep issues. Here, finally, you are basically getting to the stage that being inverted you know things look differently so this goes back to that letter that I have advised you to write from from that person's you know view so let's say somebody wronged you so you would write uh, to see how that person might have felt you really don't know so that truth that you're looking for you can obtain from writing yourself that self letter and it's going to serve a big purpose in the absence of, of hearing the truth, which sometimes people feel very uncomfortable to say. So that is the story for this week. It is like very elaborate. I'm, I'm really glad that you guys had, you know, this big reading that you wanted. Uh, but really, I would like to look at these runes and see what these runes say or don't say, because this is basically check for me if if I interpreted this well and so this rune over here is like Equas is the rune of progress and it was rune of progress basically going from the devil stage to the inner inner kind of like life stage you know it is uh, feeling right now that your life is still at standstill and that is like excuse me very little accomplished you know but you know you, you're supposed to hear, you know, monitoring developments and you need to kind of like put and set priorities in your reading. And, you know, if, if you're also fearing that, you know, that, that you're not going to be getting, I guess, your target, uh, don't fret about it because you will. But again, like these should be the stages and there are steps going through it. And it, it's, it's basically tell, telling time that cur telling you that the courage, this is a good time for courage. And you know, this is also good for gamblers. So if you're gambling, if you're asking, if, the, if you're going from through separation or to divorce settlement, if you ask for a little bit more, you're going to get a little bit more. And you know, if this is uh, representing a person, which in your case could represent a person, is showing somebody really strong-willed and decisive, and it could be a woman. You know, it could be also that that you know these whole feelings are about maybe the third uh, party that has been involved 
in, the, in your reading. And this is also asking you, just like High Priestess, to adopt to the circumstances, you know? So really, really, really pay attention to this core over here. So then I was really interested to clarify your Sea King. So that is a proverbial King of Cups. It is like so lovely and people just love him to see him in the reading unless he's positioned like in your case in the kind of other section. So Attila rune over here is the rune of basically loyalty, respect and identity and which are the foundations of family. So yes, it does confirm that you know you're still dreaming about that you know knight in shining armor engagements marriages and births you know and here i think if if you're not able to cope with the situation yourself i would advise to talk to a counselor or you know and again i would advise to ask yourself what would the other person do in this situation if you look from the outside and i tell them my life story what would the other people do and you know what? Walking away, it's a really, really hard decision. We, we really want so badly to feel what we want to feel, that fantasy world, but reality is that this, this is not really happening. Reality is that a relationship needs hard work and sometimes they just break. And when they break, the good news is like that one door closes, the other one will open. So, you know, please kind of reach disclosure allow yourself time to heal and to kind of go go ahead because Scorpio it is really hurting you like I mean this this is right digging deep inside of you and like you're spinning in circles look at a circle and this is here and not letting it go here you have a whole bunch of up in the air you know like I mean all right so you're negotiating something but like I mean things are going on here so what I'm seeing here this week is really 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 you are you know, dealing with the issues are surfacing. So that's actually a good thing. Just make sure that like other people are not in your path. And even that person who wronged you, you, you really don't know all the circumstances. Maybe they didn't tell you everything. So if you want, write a letter. You can even send it to them or you don't have to. It can be just for you or you can hold it back and send when it's needed. So this reverse death, this kind of grief you're going through, you know, oops, this my this grief you're going through, you know, it just like is the rune of boundaries. Like Teresa has actually talks to know when and where you need to stop. And, and it, you don't want to stop, you know, you just want to, again, like this is, this is doing, you want to kill your enemies. You're so angry. You, you want to blame, you want to uh, cast blame. But you know what this is rune is also asking you to look what you did to cause the situation. It is very rare that you did absolutely nothing. And what kind of decisions led you to where you are now? You need to access, assess the situation and only then proceed. So please uh, be honest to yourself. What has happened? If you had a third party situation, what happened in your life that this kind of this, this happened? Did you tolerate a situation that you were not supposed to tolerate? Have you been with somebody who didn't treat you right and you somehow maybe did get over once the cheating and the person just like took it as you know oh well I can do it anytime whatever I want ask yourself what is here and then ask yourself would they let my daughter uh, behave this way what advice would they give um, ask yourself you know if if you're telling the story to the other people would they think it was a good decision so I drew some other cards as well here for you from the love deck. I'm generally not crazy about this deck and I know many readers use it. And the reason I'm not crazy about it because it's all kind of rosy messages. And that's why I like tarot, that it kind of like tells you the story. And here it says, free yourself. Again, please read disclosure. You need to free yourself from this emotional debris right now. Because it says it's time to take back control of your life. Yes, please, Scorpio, take control of your life back. It's really, really important. I also drew another card because you're getting the special reading. And here, these are basically love, spells, and ritual cards. And you drew Rose Quartz, which is support. It says Mineral Kingdom Guidance to know that you are supported. So let me just uh, read for you the mantra that comes with this. And this mantra is going to be in the description for you. 
and this is the magical actually incantation that you have to basically say to yourself as often as you can in order kind of like to get this support really and it's kind of interesting that you've got crystals here because you also have uh, your little high priestess with crystals oh, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about this rune just to go back now we are getting this to the rune of uh, uh, what is this called weird I think it's called but this is a blank rune some people read with this rune some people don't but you know what this is destiny so it's a literally flip if you're going to get this truth or not and if you want to dwell on it so that is a lesson that sometimes things happen in life that we cannot control it's going to be destiny and it might be just a destiny that things will get revealed to you that you know simply you're going to be patient enough until the day uh, comes you know when appearances are going to be different when you're going to kind of like find things out or maybe you're going to find things out from unexpected source so what is the incantation here this is this is how it goes I allow the energies of the rose quartz to support and nurture my heart I open myself to the support of the universe it says that if you have pulled the card of rose quartz take strength in knowing that the stone people are here to support your every need Loneliness is one of the greatest tests humans can face, but holding a rose quartz in your hand will immediately draw in comfort. Its beautiful pink color and silky texture attune to the energy of your heart center, sending waves of love and compassion to you. Rose quartz nurtures our spirits and melts through the darkness. So if you're feeling as if you have found yourself marooned or deserted island, place one of these remarkable stones under your pillow. As you sleep, it will work its magic. Alternatively, pop it into your pocket and take hold of it while you go about your business. It will give you all the strength and nurturing you need. So, I would buy one of those stones and treat yourself and remember it is the stones and crystals that basically they choose, you know, uh, whom they wish to be with. So, you need to take comfort in knowing that the right one will come your way and it's going to help you clear while protecting and maintaining the love that you already have and allowing all this anger to kind of flow out. So, it is time for you to clear the energies. And before we go, I really would like to clear certain things. I really want to get some guidance on on this moon card since we really didn't get much on it so let's see if this truth is going to be revealed and what is what is oops, this jumped what is not revealed uh-huh uh-huh there we go so now you know you're not going to need to find the truth from anybody else I'm telling you lover falseness merchant your lover was not telling the truth and he was negotiating something else something else seemed to be of a more importance to him so that's all you need to know you don't need to know the details so Scorpio hard work this week you have a meditation I have placed green Tara mantra which kind of clears all the negativity so let it play in the background it's a nice soothing mantra that is kind of repetitive and it's kind of working on your sulfagia frequencies and it's really going deep inside of you and it's really really beneficial so again Scorpio I'm sorry that I didn't bring you something more beneficial this week but even though this looks really negative on the surface it is really really positive uh, for us to clear it and to, to get on with our life you deserve it if you really think about it whoever did wrong to you didn't deserve you and you need to repair yourself make yourself like a better 2.0 and move on and get much better life so the sooner that you reach this closure the sooner you're going to feel happy so check this um, incantation in description and good luck this week drop me a note and if you want a private reading uh, just specifically about your situation and specifically about the details if you're going to separation or divorce uh, please contact me the information is at the bottom of the screen as well and thank you very much for supporting me and my channel i really really appreciate you guys scorpio rock so you know the same rules are for the next week um, the sign that actually has most likes subscribes and shares will get the readings first 
Thank you very much. Happy Valentine's because I'm doing this on a Valentine's Day and I'll chat soon. Love.